Hello guys and welcome to our final day of Mega Charizard Y team. Now let's thank you for helping me out with the likes. I've definitely seen an increase in them. And let's get quite a few more for for today's episode, which is the last day of Mega Charizard, please. Okay, so we found a battle now. We are up against a Mega Salamence team. My Lodic has been very troublesome for us, especially the Maranga Berry, the Maranga Berry sort, <laughs> and we have some very interesting Pokemon here. We have Redirection with Clefable. We have Heatran, which is also problematic, and Mega Salamence, which is always a threat, of course. Now, Sylvian looks good here because of Hyper Voice double targeting. And with that in mind, I kind of want Landers in the back so that Salamence can't one hit KO it with double edge or return. Land uh, Conkelder. It's not very good here, especially not without knockoff. So I think Conkelder is discarded here. Now, setting up Tailwind is not that important. I'm definitely leading Thunders, though. Thunders does pr pretty good against everything on his team. And Charizard with Sylveon and Aegislash in the back. I didn't bring Landorus because I'm really scared of Milotic. There's the Milotic, but this is pretty much the best lead we could have hoped for. Now, Maranga Berry, like I said, is a thing. My opponent could double protect here. Heatran could come into the Age Slash slot. But I'm gonna play it safe and I'm just gonna target each Pokemon with the, their respective moves. Uh, <laughs> weakness policy my logic. Okay, so that's new. It doesn't take out Thunderous, surprisingly. So, I'm gonna do the same thing here. Although, H slash? H slash is not a threat. So, I'm gonna double up on my Lodic. Yeah, he switches in Clefable. Okay, my Lodic protects, which is unfortunate. <laughs> hmm, now, I'm gonna. Double target my Lodic with a flamethrower this time because of the follow me. Get a lot of damage on Clefable. There's the Ice Beam. So Thunders goes down, but Sylveon can come in now. And Hyper Voice away. Now my Lodic, not very threatening just yet due to the. Due to the the sun, so I want to keep Charizard safe here. But is he even going to target <laughs> single target hyper voice might do enough. But I'm still gonna target my Lodic. Actually, Hyper Voice and Solar Beam my Lodic. Melodic protects once again. There's the solar beam. There's the hyper voice. So Clefable's redirection is out now. He sees my life orb, which is unfortunate, I guess. There's Age Slash once more. So, like I said, Age Slash is not that big a threat. Now, Charizard's solar beam should 
KO my Lodek because Thunderbolt did almost 40% and Charizard has a lot more special attack it doesn't <laughs> so I'm very wrong in that the Sun is now out so I'm not very threatening anymore gonna switch in oh, my opponent played that perfectly I should have I was afraid of the king shield though I mean the white card <sighs> now I know I won't be KOing but Age Slash goes for a white card. Okay, so that played out pretty nicely. A plus two scald probably takes me out. So I'm gonna King Shield and bring Sylveon back in because I definitely. The Sun is key here. The Sun is a key to winning this game. Age Slash protects my Latic. <laughs> recovers so we are in a pretty pretty big stalemate I know my age slash will be faster still want to bring in Charizard here and I'm going to protect Sylveon I want to catch that age slash with a hidden power ground there's the Skull, does almost 50% there's the shadow ball so now my opponent is probably not very scared of Charizard at all. He could double protect here, which would be great for him. But my helping hand solar beam will not KO my Lodic either. Hopefully, no, there's the King Shield, my Lodic not carrying at all. I should have gone for the... <laughs> okay, I'm gonna try to take down Aegis last year. And I'm gonna Hyper Voice. Ah, <sighs> he white guards. Flamethrower takes it out. My Charizard is down, so as we know, my Lodic is a huge issue for this team. In the sun, it can't really touch H slash just yet, but who his last Pokemon is will really define a lot, and it's Salamence. So a double up on Sylveon will probably take me down. Is Salamence special? Based no, based on his team, it's probably physical, so it will take down. Sylvian. Is the protect obvious here? <sighs> Does he need to even. He can't just protect Salamence as well to scout for my protect. <sighs> he knows he's faster. So do I go for it? Because my protect is very obvious. He does protect. Okay. We doubled up on my Lodic. That's great. Gets the burn. That's unfortunate. We need some sort of critical hit here. Nope. My Lodic is faster. So now he should expect Sylveon to protect. And because of that, I am not going to protect. It's the only play I have. But if he's smart, yeah, he just targets Sylveon and wins, obviously. <laughs> my Lodic, man. Impossible to KO my Lodics. How do you even KO my Lodic? You can't. Man. Just gonna. <sighs> okay, next battle. Nothing to do here. Fortunately. We start out our last day with a loss. Why does he Dragon Dance? Who knows? 
But okay, Mega Heracross team now. Okay. Amungus is there. Now the biggest threat here, Aegislash, stops Mega Heracross really badly. And so does Sylveon actually. So setting up Tailwind or paralyzing some things will be pretty important. Double Genie lead is very tempting here. Although Intimidate only really helps. Hmm. Charizard Thunderous? Is that good? Or Charizard Landorus? Or Conkeldur Landorus? Conkeldur Thunderous, actually. Is good here. With Charizard. And with Sylvian. Yeah, Sylvian resists. Bug resists fighting. Okay, so double genie for him. Now, what does Landris do here? Does he go for the rock slide or does he go for the U-turn? I'm gonna go directly for the ice punch on Landers and I'm gonna taunt the Thunders just in case it wants to start doing shenanigans he was going to try to swagger me <laughs> and I get a freeze <laughs> is that the first freeze in the series? I believe it is <laughs> okay so that's very unfortunate for my opponent very unfortunate, let's ignore him in case he starts cursing, which a lot of people do when things like this happen. Now, does a combination of Mac Punch plus Ice Punch KO here across? It could. It could. But I think Thunders is switching in for Landers here. Gonna Drain Punch here across, and I'm gonna hit and power the Thunder slot. Yep, there's Landris getting another Intimidate on Archon Kelder, which is fine. There's the Hit and Power Ice, that was nice, and here across stays frozen. And we get a critical hit. Wow, so our opponent is definitely not catching a break here at all. Now. Landorus is not really a threat, but I want to get Conkeldor out of here to reset the Intimidate. And I'm just gonna Thunderbolt here, across here. Nothing that comes in that slot. Okay, Landorus has Protect. So yeah, nobody's using Choice Scarf Landorus pretty much anymore. And now, okay. <laughs> he forfeits so let's get another battle because this one only lasted three turns and we lost in the last one so let's make this last one a good one shall we hopefully I did click yeah I am searching for a battle so I'm drinking a bit of water because I've been talking a lot today. It's now 1.45, I started recording at 12, and I've only been able to get three videos done. Why? Lots and lots of technical issues, like, don't get me started guys. So our last battle with this team, it's been a, an up and down week, <laughs> my opponent of course disconnects so let's find another battle I guess ah, very frustrating but I wish we hadn't frozen our opponent in that previous battle would have made it a lot more interesting now Pangoro wow that's definitely new Mega Gardevoir with Pangoro here now he's only uh, Hyper Fairy Resist is Rotom, 
so once we get rid of Rotom, Sylvian Rex, and it's not threatened, I don't see any way he deals damage to Sylvian. So Sylvian under Tailwind would be incredible here, absolutely incredible. With that in mind, Conkelder is also pretty nice here. But I think I want to lead Lander's Age Slash, because Gardevoir is a thing as well. Or do I want Landris? I don't know what Pangor does. Yeah, our opponent didn't come back. Okay, so... Um, H slash? I want to lead H slash. He, he could lead... If he leads Gardevoir, Rotom... Our best bet against that is we have nothing against that. Wow. <laughs> it's Landorus with H slash I guess. Yeah. Landorus H slash. With Charizard and Conkelder in the back. But then what about Sylvian? Yeah, Sylvian in the back. Sylvian under Tailwind. That's what our end goal should be, in theory. Now, I'm kind of glad to see this lead, because we can Rock Slide right away and get super effective damage on both Pokemon, but I don't want my Landorus to be Will-O-Wisped. I don't want my Aegis Lash to be overheated. And I don't want my Charizard to be Thunderbolted. <laughs> so, Rock Slide is the best option, I believe. And Rotom Heat is the biggest threat, which he pretty smartly protects. I get a crit. Do I get a flinch? No, I do not. And now... I'm fully expecting a will o wisp because Age Slash King Shielding is very obvious. <laughs> that turn one was terrible for us. He protected. I should have targeted Zapdos. What was I thinking? I'm gonna bring Charizard in into two electric types. Really, Pablo? Yikes. And what does Zapdos do here? It could roost. <laughs> I'm gonna hard switch to Sylvian. Just so I can be more threatening next turn. Hopefully Rotom... Okay, Zapdos goes for a heat wave, that's good to know. And Rotom goes for a Will-O-Wisp. Okay. Now, can Sylvian take a double up from these two? That's a big question here. I could Tailwind protect. I could bring Landers back in. I could double protect to scout. gonna Tailwind Protect. I think long term that's what's going to give me the best chance. Okay, and Mamoswine comes in. That's pretty good. We don't get fully paralyzed and we now have our own Tailwind. Mamoswine. Okay, is that Scarf Mamoswine? I don't think it will be because we are under... he's using Tailwind. So I'm going to protect Charizard now, and I'm going to Hyper Voice. Hopefully, Hyper Voice will take down Zapdos. This church does very little damage. He double target Sylvian, of course. <sighs> now I really have to go on the offensive here. Mamoswine is a very big threat. 
Does a solar beam take it out? If it discharge, if it uses discharge. Okay, gonna solar beam, mammoth swine, and white guard. Sabos has tailwind, discharge, heat wave. Yeah, I'm gonna solar beam mama swine and white guard. No switches. Great, please. The yeah, ice charm. <laughs> Guys, this is terrible. I'm terrible. Gonna rock slide and flash cannon. I need a flinch on Mama Swine. Otherwise, I'm done. How do I not think of Ice Shard? I'm I'm sorry, guys. I'm clearly not playing very, very concentrated right now. Sabdos doesn't go down. We get the flinch, do we get the KO? We do get the KO. Okay, so that's step one in making a comeback. Or not, because he has Tailwind. And he has Guard of War, and he even intimidates us. And I'm gonna White Guard. But Carnivore is obviously going to Psychic Landers. There's the Psy Shock. Yep. No chance. I'm going to King Shield here. Our only, only hope. No, he has Rotom Heat in the back. There is no way <laughs> we are winning this unless. He activates our weakness policy with heat wave and he misses an overheat and I don't even get to King Shield. He he doesn't even heat wave to not activate that. So yeah. No chance here guys. I'm sorry. Playing terribly. Our opponent clearly outplayed us. Pretty nice team he has there. Yeah.